Hello everyone. So today under the mathematics we are going to study about the linear equations in two variables. Since we know what is the meaning of linear equation. So linear equation means an equation with the degree 1. That means uh, for example I can take 2x plus 3 is equals to 0. So this is an equation with it is a called as linear equation because its degree the value of the variable this x is a variable this 2 it is a coefficient and 3 it is a constant here. The value of this x or the degree of this x will be 1 hence it is called as linear equation. So linear equation the equation which is of the form in general I can write it as ax plus b is equals to 0. So this is a linear equation which is in the form of one variable. Here only y variable x present here is x is present here. So now the chapter is linear equations in two variables. That means if we are having the only one variable you are going to represent it as ax plus b is equals to 0. That means you are going to get the value for example for this one. 2x plus 3 is equals to 0 is there. So now how you are going to represent it? 2x what is the how you are going to get the value of x here? 2x is equals to minus 3. So x equals to you are going to get it as minus 3 divided by 2. Isn't it? This is how we are going to get the value or the value of the variables in the case of one variable. Here one variable is x is one variable. Similarly, how we are going to get the linear equation which is having the two variables. So let me guess one, uh, one of the example here. For example, a student uh, name x, uh, some name you can consider. So that student, uh, when, I, when we combine the marks of that student, uh, that is scored on maths and as well as science. I'll take this two subject here. So, the marks scored by students, for example, Rahul. Rahul scored, um, the marks scored by Rahul in maths plus the marks scored by Rahul in science. When we combine those marks, we are going to get it as, it is 150. Just an example, the total score when we add those two marks of maths and science, the Rahul has scored 150 marks. So, now we have to represent this in linear equations in two variables. That means two variables means maths representing one variable and science representing another one variable. Maths representing one variable means maths I'll consider let the maths marks be x and the let the math uh, science marks be y. So, when I combine these two uh, marks, I am going to get, that is Rahul has got the value of 150. So, I can write this as linear equations in two variables. So, linear equation means with the degree 1 here. So, x is also having the 1 and y. So, x is a mark store, uh, scored in maths plus y mark store, scored in science. When we combine these two, the equation we have got it as x plus y is equal to 150. So, we have got a linear equation in two variables. Now, how we are going to represent in a general form? Generally, linear equation in two variables, it will be represented in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, here a is the coefficient of x. Remember this, b is a coefficient of y and c here is constant and x is a variable, y is also a variable. So, let me write it as a is a coefficient, a, a is a coefficient of x and as well as next b is a coefficient of y and c is a constant here. And as well as x and y are the variables. So now here the equation is x plus y is equal to 150. Now I want to write it in this form. So x plus y is equal to 150 is there. So if you want to change it in this form means x plus y 150 when it comes to this side it becomes minus 150 is equal to 0. So what is the value? What is the coefficient of x here? So coefficient of x 
is 1. That is the value of A is 1. The value of B is 1, positive 1 because X and Y are in positive. And the value of C is minus 150. Okay, this is I think we can also say that what is the coefficient of X here? Coefficient of X is 1. Coefficient of Y is 1. Coefficient of C is minus 150. Sorry, that is a, not a coefficient. It is a value of C. Or it is also called as a constant here. So, now let me take another one example. So, for example, x is equals to minus 5 is given. In this case, they have given you to get the equation. This x is equals to minus 5 in the form of linear equation in two variables here. So, first here x is there. Two variables means only one variable is here. What is the another one variable that we have to find out? So, let me take this as in the left hand side, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So, only x value is given, that is a variable 1 is given, what about the other, another one variable? So, x, so what about the another one variable, that is y value is not given, means it is understood that that is 0 here. So, x plus 0 y is equals to minus 5 here. Now, so, x, let me take it as x plus 0 y minus 5 is there. Let me take it to here. It becomes plus 5 is equals to 0. So, this is of the form ax plus by plus c is equals to 0. That means, what is the coefficient of x here? Coefficient of x means value of a is 1, value of b is 0, value of c is 5 here. Okay, so this is how we are going to represent it. Similarly, y is equals to 2 here given. So, in this case, we have to represent a linear equation in two variables here. So, how we can represent this? So, here y value is given. So, what about the x? So, I can write it as 0x plus y that is here is equals to 2. So, I can represent this as 0x plus y plus 2 when it comes to here, minus 2 is equals to 0 here. That means what is the coefficient? I can write A is equals to 0 here, B is equals to 1 and C is equals to minus 2. So, this is how we are going to represent a linear equation in two variables. Similarly, let me consider one of the example. The cost of notebook is twice the cost of a pen. Write linear equation in two variables to represent this one. So, cost of notebook uh, let us consider as x and uh, cost of pen we are going to consider it as the y here. So, now we have to represent this in linear equation in two variables. So, now the cost here one condition is given the cost of notebook. Cost of notebook we have represented as x that is twice that of the cost of the pen that is equals to 2 into y twice mean 2 times of the cost of the pen here so this is x equals to 2y is this so we have to write it in a linear equation in two variables so x when it comes to here minus 2y so value of c that is the c value will also be 0 is equals to 0 here so a is 1 here and b value here is minus 2 and c value here is 0. Okay, so this is how we are going to represent the linear equation in two variables. Next is how we are going to find the solutions of a linear equations. So, if it is one variable means for example, uh, 2, 4x plus 5 is equals to 0. This is a linear equation in uh, that is in one variable is given. So, one variable means only x variable is given. So, x value you can directly get it. How we are going to get 4x equals to minus 5. So, x equals to minus 5 divided by 4 here. That is x value directly you are going to get it. Now, when the case, when it is two variables are there, in that case is how we are going to find the solutions for that. If it is one variable means only one solutions you are going to get. When it is having two variables means we are going to say that we are going to get infinite number of solutions here. We don't know how much you are getting, uh, whether you are getting one solution or two solutions. Many solutions you will get for the 
different value of x and different value of y here. So let me take an example. For example, if I substitute the value of x equals to 0. So when I substitute x equals to 0, 4 into, let me substitute it, 4 into 0 plus 3 into y is equals to 12 here. Now 4 into 0 is 0 plus 3y is equals to 12. Then what is the value of y? y is equals to 12 divided by 3. So y is equals to 4. You will get it. So what is the pair I can write or coordinates to represent? For example, if you want to represent in a graph means you want it in a coordinates one. So when I put x equals to x comma y. Only two coordinates. It's in the Cartesian system. So x comma y means x value if I substitute 0 y value I am going to get it as 4. So this is one pair of equation or one pair of solutions here. Similarly when I substitute any values you can take. When I substitute x equals to 1 just an example here. So 4 into 1 plus 3y is equals to 12 here. So 4 plus 3y is equals to 12. So 3y is equals to 12 minus 4 is 8. So y is equals to 8 divided by 3 here. So how you can write it? x comma y. So x is 1 comma 8 divided by 3. So this is another one solution. Similarly, I can get another one solution. I can get y is equals to 0. I can substitute instead of x equals to 0, instead of substituting the values for x. So, let us substitute the value of y is 0. If I substitute y is equals to 0 means 4x plus 3 into 0, 0 is equals to 12. So, 4x equals to 12. So, x equals to 12 by 4 means you are going to get it as 3. So, how we are going to represent this in a pair? So, that is in a coordinates one. So, x, when I substitute x equals or when it is x value is 3 and we are going to get the y value as 0. Okay. So, this is how we are going to get it. So, we have got uh, nearly 3 values. That is 3 pairs. So, what are the first pairs? 0, 4. One of the solution, another one is 1 comma 8 by 3, another one solution. Let me another one solution is 3 comma 0. So like this, we are going to get infinite number of solutions for a given linear equation in two variables. Similar to that, uh, let me consider another one, 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. So we have to get solutions for this. This is uh, they have said this, you have to represent in linear equation in two variables and then you have to find the solutions for this. So, this you have to get it in two equations, that is linear equation in two variables. Only one variable is given, so you know how to get it in two variables. 0x because x is the missing one here plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0 here. Now, we have to get the solutions for that. To get the solutions for this, so for example, I will substitute x equals to 0 here. When I substitute x equals to 0 here, 0 into 0, 0 only. So what is the y value here? 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. So 3y is equals to minus 4. So y is equals to minus 4 divided by 3. So how we are going to represent in coordinates 0 comma minus 4 divided by 3 here. Now similarly when I substitute x equals to 1. 1 into 0 is 0 itself. So same thing you are going to get it. So that means 1 comma minus 4 divided by 3. Similarly, if I substitute x equals to 2, 2 into 0, 0 itself. So, same thing, 3 by plus 4 is equals to 0. So, many solutions I can get it from this one. So, if they have asked, uh, write the four solutions of the equation, 3y plus 4 is equals to 0 means you can write it 0 comma minus 4 divided by 3, 1 comma minus 4 divided by 3 like this, you can go into write it. Okay, so this is how we are going to get the solutions for a linear equation in two variables. Now, in the next classes, we are going to get it by this value. So, we have got the values or the coordinates to represent in a graph. So, in the next class, we are going to get, uh, we are going to solve it graphical method to represent the linear equation in 
two variables i hope everyone have understood this if any doubts is there we will discuss in a live session thank you